While Krenov's biggest impact on woodworking would be made by his writing and his cabinet-making practice, his championing of user-made wooden hand planes, such as those presented here, represent a secondary and wide-reaching part of his legacy. Krenov referred to the hand plane as the cabinetmaker's violin, indicative of his penchant for their use in his craft. In making his own planes, Krenov was able to fashion a wide range of tools for a variety of tasks used in the execution of his work, including their use in concave and curved pieces. In nearly every class he taught, both those here at the school in Northern California and around the world over his five-decade career, Krenov taught his students to make these simple laminated wooden planes, which many now refer to as Krenov planes, bestowing the tool with the name of its champion. So these are made you know, from one chunk of wood. They're sawn in three pieces. And the um, blade put it, fit in there with a wedge to tighten it up. Uh, he just didn't like the uh, manufactured ones because there was only one place to you put your hands, and he liked to have some flexibility if you're doing it for you know one-handed or you know if you need a little pressure somewhere else, you could shift. Um, these were after he got to where he couldn't see to do furniture anymore. He continued to do his hand planes, and and uh, this is one that from a later date. This isn't. This must be pretty late to the wedges. There's something to be desired there. He got. He'd taken for his later ones that he was selling. He put his initials on it. And uh, Brite had said that somebody returned the one that Jim sent him because there's these hieroglyphics on the front of it. You know, so uh, Brita was happy to refund. Front, refund the cost, and so she has. She has. I don't know. Maybe this is the, that very plane. I, mean, I couldn't tell you. But, um, there's some things here that he'd had for years. Uh, this knife is featured in a couple of spots in his books, uh, as is this uh, shop-made little cam clamp. And there's a pair of these that I ended up with. And just a couple of his um, chisels, his old Escatuna, his Swedish steel that he was attached to. 